Hi, welcome to another episode of Vivid Aquariums TV. I'm Dave, and tonight we're going to show you about how to frag some mushrooms. First thing you can do, if you don't have one of these nice inland saws, say we have a mushroom rock here, is to use a concrete chisel and hammer to help to get the rock smaller. You can actually use the chisel to separate that, like so. Now we have a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here. Now that we have some smaller rocks, it's easier to start using frag cutters to separate the mushrooms. And you can use that just to chip away at the rock and get them to come off nice and slowly. There's one. Whoa, there's another one. Let me get that. They do tend to fly around sometimes. And then we have the last one on the rock here. Um, see if we can get that one to pop off too. You definitely want to make sure to have some uh, rock attached to the base of the mushroom. It does help if you're going to mount that, say, on a frag plug. So we'll put these back in the water. Two of these, I'm going to go ahead and mount on frag plugs. Since to mount it on a frag plug, you definitely need some rock with the mushroom. You can't glue the mushroom directly because it's so slimy that the, uh, the glue won't hold it. I'm going to use a little bit of accelerator as well. Put that with the glue. Make sure that we have enough glue to connect the rock thoroughly. And there you have a mushroom glued to a frag plug. You can mount that in your tank wherever you like. Now, it is true that mushrooms can release from the rock or substrate if they're not happy in a certain location. But uh, a lot of times they will stay put if you give them happy, you know, moderate current, just moderate lighting. Now, the next step, some people want to get a little more into it and actually divide a mushroom itself into multiple pieces. We'll go ahead and put our hammer and chisel away. We're done with those. And uh, to do this, you want to make cuts through the mouth of the mushroom. Basically, usually cutting it into four pieces is a good way to go. I will say some hobbyists out there have talked about you know, fragging them in blenders. We've had customers who do it. It can be successful. But I think you're going to have a higher success rate and less loss doing careful cutting of the mushroom through the mouth. So for that, I'm going to try to hold it and show you as I do it here. You want to use a razor blade. Slowly cut straight through the mouth of the mushroom. And again, to cut it into quarters. And now we can separate this with our frag cutters a little bit, just to use the cutters to break the rock. You've cut the tissue of the mushroom with the razor blade. I'm going to put that back in water for a little bit. Although it can be out of water for five, six minutes, no problem. Again, cut this substrate. And there you have multiple pieces of mushroom. We can use the razor blade to get this egg crate out of the way, show you a little bit better. It is small. They're small when they shrivel up. You just want to cut them into different pieces. And then the best thing to do is to have a cup like this with some substrate in it. And this is just medium-sized pieces of uh, live rock or uh, coral sand. And you actually put the pieces in there, the loose pieces of the mushroom into there and put this in an area of the aquarium with just low or moderate flow. And what this does is it gives the mushrooms a chance. They're going to float around and attach to these little pieces of rubble rock, which down the road, that'll be easy to glue that rubble rock onto your reef or uh, basically into um, onto a frag plug to mount it where you like in the aquarium. So. Nice to have a cup, doesn't have to be clear, any cup, something that water can flow over top, so you're getting water movement through it, but it'll keep the mushrooms contained and give them a chance to settle in and heal and, and then attach to a new base. So that's one way to do it. Now we'll try one recordia before uh, end of the show here. 
Again, make sure to wear your safety goggles. You don't want to get a uh, splash in the eye when you're cutting these things. Again, you're just going to try to cut straight through the mouth of the mushroom. Nice and easy. Take your time, it's not a rush. You're almost sawing through it to make sure you get completely through the mushroom. I'm going to call, cut one more time across ways. Be careful not to uh, cut yourself, obviously. Hold on to it carefully. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop this recordia off of the base. Hopefully it doesn't go flying. I'm going to have to cover it while I do that. There's it popped off the base. We have one piece of it, a corner of it, still on the base, so we can leave that as one piece. And then these others, we'll make sure that we, we separate them completely. Again, just sawing through. You can put them down on the hard surface is easier. Normally we do cut them like this down on the hard surface. I was trying to show you what I was doing. But basically now we have three pieces here, we have one piece there. So these little bits of recordia, we're going to go ahead and put those into a cup as well. I would use different cups for different species of mushrooms uh, so they don't sting each other. I mean, discosomas go together, recordias I do together like this. But you just put them in that cup and uh, put it in a lower flow area of your aquarium where water can move over the top of it and give them a chance to heal up. Usually you see them heal the start healing pretty well within three or four days and within a week they're already uh, their mouth is usually complete and uh, looking good so I hope this has been helpful guys and uh, definitely you've got some rare mushrooms nice ones out there we're always looking to trade for some frags so send them our way hopefully we can propagate more ourselves and uh, draw less from the ocean take care and have a good night